examine a few reasons why people experience losses of all kinds in their lives. Are you learning already? Yes, Number one, lack of discernment. Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 1. Let's study a few scriptures as fast as we can. Hebrews 2 and verse 1. Lack of discernment. It says, therefore we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest at any time we should let them sleep. Say discernment. Discernment is very important. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. These are scriptures that show us the danger of not having discernment. Isaiah 1, 3. It says, The ox knoweth his owner, and the ass his master's crib. But Israel does not know, my people doth not consider. That means these people have not built themselves to be able to discern. We lose in life because we do not know how to discern. The faculty of spiritual perception. The ability to know what God is doing. In these days, if you lack discernment, you will lose a lot of things. It can cost you even your bishopric. He said his bishopric, let another take. Are we blessed? Mm. Ezekiel chapter 12. Let's look at one or two more scriptures. Ezekiel chapter 12. We'll start from verse 1 and 2. Ezekiel chapter 12 from verse 1 and 2. The word of the Lord also came to me saying, please let's read verse 2 together. Ready? One, two, read. Son of man, thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious people. It says, which have eyes to see and see not. They have ears to hear and hear not. For they are... That is his definition of lack of discernment. That you have eyes and yet you do not see. You have ears and you do not hear. People lose because they do not have the ability to see and to hear. Very, very powerful. Acts 28 and verse 27. Let that be the last verse for this and then we'll jump to the next. Acts 28 and verse 27. He said that for the heart of these people is wax gross. For their ears are dull of hearing and their eyes they have closed. Lest they should see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them. There is a relationship between discernment and restoration. There is a relationship between lack of discernment and losses. Many people, many believers have not trained their faculty of spiritual perception to discern, discern people, discern opportunities, discern seasons. He says, and of the sons of Issachar, men who had the understanding of the times and that they knew what Israel ought to do. And because of that, their brethren were at their command. Number two, why do people lose in this kingdom? Carelessness. Number two, carelessness. Hebrews chapter two, verse three, where we read, Hebrews 2 and verse 3. Just pay attention to these scriptures and let them speak to your spirit. Hebrews 2 and verse 3. How shall we escape, it says, if we neglect so great salvation, which at the first began to be spoken by the Lord and was confirmed unto us by them which heard him? How shall we escape when there is neglect, carelessness? Many believers have demonstrated carelessness across every area of their lives. Carelessness with opportunities, carelessness with moments, carelessness with prophetic words. Are we together now? Yes. Judges chapter 11. Let's read from verse 30. We're discussing the reasons why people lose in this kingdom as an attempt to understand the value of restoration. And we said number one is lack of discernment, the absence of it. Number two, carelessness. Are we there? Judges 11 from verse 30. Remember the story of Jephthah? Pay attention. It says, Jephthah vowed a vow unto the Lord. 
you will see the consequence of carelessness right now carelessness with words carelessness with commitments it says if thou shalt without fail deliver the children of ammon unto my hands we're reading to 35 then it shall be that whatsoever comfort out of the door to meet me when i return in peace from the children of ammon shall surely be the lord and i will offer it for, for a bond offering say carelessness this is a man who is speaking carelessly this this is clearly emotions that lord if you give me victory anything that comes out of my house i will give you as a bond offering follow closely so jephthah passed over to the children of ammon to fight against them and the lord delivered them into his hands are we still here and he smote them even until all of those places and thus the children of ammon were subdued before the children of israel 34. it says and jephthah came to mispah unto his house and behold who came out his daughter came out to meet him with timbrels and with dances and she was his only child say carelessness we lose things in life because we do not allow the holy spirit to lead us people make careless statements careless commitments and many of us the reason why we've not been able to experience advancement and even restoration is because we make careless commitments carelessness beside her he had neither son nor daughter 35 and it came to pass when he saw her he rent his clothes and said alas my daughter thou hast brought me very low and thou art one of them that trouble me for i have opened my mouth unto the lord and i cannot go back There are people who made commitments that were beyond their financial level. Emotionally, they just met a family of 10 people and said, I will take care of all of you to university. And the wife said, but how, what is the financial state of the family? Said, and they clapped for you when you spoke it and they captured it on TV. Carelessness, hasty in speech. Carelessness, especially with words. There are people who have said things that they wish they did not say because careless utterances have cost people years. Damage control for years. Is someone learning now? The reason why we lose in this kingdom, carelessness. Carelessness. Hmm. In Matthew chapter 14, when you read from verse 6 to 11, I don't know if we can look at it, is, is a parable, the parable of the talent. Remember, he gave on to one five, he gave on to one two, he gave on to Matthew 14. Let's look at it from verse 6. Sorry, uh, that was the story of Herodias. Keep it, let's just read it since you've, you've put it up. The Bible says, when Herodias' birthday was kept, the, when Herod's birthday was kept, the daughter of Herodias danced before them and please who? Are you ready to see carelessness again? Please read verse 7. One to read. Whereupon he promised with an oath to give her... You see how careless people are? How in the world do you stand as a king who is responsible for the destinies of many and simply because a lady danced before you and you were happy and you made a careless statement that anything that means if she said get up from that throne are we together now verse 8 and she being therefore instructed of her mother said give me here john baptist's head in a charger and the king was sorry you, you see it now that every time people do careless things and say careless things eventually why do we lose in this kingdom because we are not thoughtful we are not guided by the word we are not guided by the spirit you see there are three faculties let me teach you this very quickly i wish i had time there are three faculties for 
by which we interact with this realm and we make decisions. I will start from the third. The third is emotions. It is the weakest of all because it vacillates. Number two is reason based on logic and principles. It is stronger than emotions. The highest number one is discernment. You see, so we have emotions, we have reason that is based on principles. Emotions are based on feelings. They vacillate and they change. Reasoning is based on principles. And so there is a measure of stability. But the highest is discernment because it is based on the voice of God. It is based on the word of God. Are we together now? That means I can look at your life and know which of these faculties you have exalted. If I see the vacillations around your decisions, I know that you have exalted emotions above reason and above discernment. If I see that you are excessively philosophical with no honor to the ministry of the Holy Spirit in your life, I know you have exalted reason above emotion and above discernment. In this order, it is discernment, then reason, then emotions. When the devil wants to destroy people, he manipulates them because he's the master of the sense realm to exalt their emotions. The moment you get to the realm of emotions, you are in Satan's domain. He will play miserably with you. Can I tell you this? Both frustration and excitement can lead to emotions. So whether you are responding from a state of excitement or a state of frustration, if you are not careful and you're not guided, you can be careless. This man was excited. And he said, young girl, whatever it is that you want, I will give it to you. And she met her mom and said, mom, look at this offer. And the mom said, finally, I have a chance to kill a prophet. And they killed him in a miserable way as though the spirit of God was never upon him. That's the implication of carelessness. Are we learning? Number three, very quickly. Why do we lose in this kingdom? Ignorance of the laws of the kingdom. Ignorance. Ignorance of the laws of the kingdom. In Psalm 82 and verse 5, popular scripture, it says, They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course. They know not. They know not. This is a kingdom that thrives by knowledge. Proverbs 19 and verse 2. Proverbs 19 and verse 2. The Bible says, through knowledge shall the just be delivered. Proverbs 19 and verse 2. Are we there? It says, also that the soul... Okay, that the soul be without knowledge, it is not good. I was quoting another scripture. It says, and he that hasted with his feet, seen it. So it is not good to be without knowledge. Lay your hands on your head in one minute and declare that this year, 2022, this is the year you will contend for superior spiritual knowledge. Go ahead and pray in one minute. Make a commitment by God. Make a commitment by his grace. Ignorance of the ways of God. I'm tired of shadow boxing, living my life by guesswork, hoping I am right. You can step into a level of predictability and excellence in your spiritual life through knowledge. It says, Through knowledge shall the just be delivered. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah number four why do we lose in this kingdom don't forget what we're dealing with we're examining why believers lose number one i said is lack of discernment number two carelessness number three ignorance of the ways of god ignorance of the laws of the kingdom people lose financially because they do not understand the kingdom truths allocated for their excellence on that wise. People lose to principalities and powers and demons and live defeated lives because they do not understand the weapons of victory that have been given to the believer. 
just knowing that victory has been purchased for us in Christ does not administer victory to you. The administration of victory is by light. Are we together now? Yes. So just being aware does not bless you. The Bible says in um, Ephesians 4 and verse 18, it says, having the understanding darkened, being alienated through from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. It takes knowledge. It takes knowledge. It takes knowledge. It takes knowledge. I commend you to God, he says, and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and then to give you an inheritance among them that are sanctified. Are we together? The Bible says an heir for as long as that heir is a child. A child means one who is void of knowledge. It says he differeth not from a slave, even though he be lord of all. Number four, why do we lose in this kingdom? Abuse and misuse. Write it down, please. Abuse and misuse. A major reason why believers lose. Abuse and misuse just write for reference we may not have the time to go through it matthew chapter 25 when you read from verse 14 to 30 matthew 25 14 to 30 we abuse and we misuse time this was the story of the um uh what they call it now the five the the the, the three uh people who were given talents parable of the talents one five one two and the other one and you can see how careful and intentional the first two were the last person was careless he went and buried his talent you bury seeds not talents you see that and when the master came he said i know you are a hard man you like reaping where you did not sow so i thought that instead of wasting your talent i do you a favor by burying it here is your talent and he called him a wicked and unprofitable servant abuse the word abuse comes from two words abnormal use abnormal use people abuse opportunities they abuse access they abuse moments and they lose many people have abused access to great people access to great minds we continue to lose because of abuse abuse of privileges Remember in 2 Samuel, just write it for reference again, 2 Samuel chapter 2. Well, let's read from 12 to 17, but the entire text is from chapter 12 of 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel chapter 12 down to chapter, 1 Samuel chapter 2 down to 1 Samuel chapter 4. This was the story of the sons of Eli. But let's just look at chapter 2, 1 Samuel 2 from verse 12 to 17. The Bible talks about the sons of Eli. Remember, Hophni and Phinehas. The Bible says the sons of Eli were sons of Belial. They knew not the Lord. Read to 17. It says, and the priest's custom with the people was that when any man offered sacrifices, the priest's servants came while the flesh was in seething with a flesh hook of three teeth in his hand. Uh -huh. And they struck into the pan or kettle or cauldron or pot. All that the flesh hook brought up, the priest took for himself. It was a privilege of priesthood. And this principle still works till today in the body of Christ. Are you seeing that now? There are privileges that priesthood brings, but there can be the abuse of it. To cut the story, the long story short, it was that when the meat or whatever the sacrifice was boiling, you are given the privilege to put that fork and whatever you bring out, it is your own blessing from the Lord. But the, Hophni and Fini has said, uh -uh, before you boil it, let us clearly look at it and pick you see that they kept taking advantage of the fact that their father was a priest you will see their end remember the story Ichabod when the ark of God was taken they were also captured and killed they brought Eli a report and said listen your sons are dead that was not even what disturbed him they said the ark of the Lord has been captured he fell down broke his neck and that was the end of it abuse 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 and misuse 
we many of us have misused privileges we have misused opportunities have you heard people say i'm connected to so many people and none of them can help me find out why none of them can help you even though you are close to them you abuse access to their numbers you call them every time and say you are not answering me have you forgotten we're relatives abuse and and you know sadly speaking africa we are masters of abuse we abuse opportunities we abuse moments you have acts uh, there, there is an entitlement mentality are we together now we just believe that someone somewhere owes us to succeed and come and bring a, a an honorarium from that success abuse and misuse number five why do people lose the final reason i'll give you is tests and trials it is true that when we go through seasons of tests and trials like the bible shows it is possible that we lose things in james chapter 1 from verse 2 and 3 james chapter 1 from verse 2 and 3 here's what the bible says brethren so he's talking to brethren he's not talking to they who are outside of faith count it all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations he says knowing this your confidence should be based on this knowledge that the trying of your faith worketh patience the trying of your faith worketh patience are we together now it is true that when people are going through seasons of prunings and trainings it's an uncomfortable truth but it is true that people momentarily can lose things are we together we read all through scripture that people were constrained when david was in the cave of adulam running away he lost several things opportunities even though he had people there with him when joseph on account of his 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 diligence and his his honor to god and to the integrity of his person he found himself in the prison he lost the opportunity to be the head even though he was a slave there were privileges that were withdrawn from him so there are times that we go through seasons that on account of the dealings of god in our lives on account of several things it is possible that we can lose some of these things maybe you are a person of integrity in the office and on account of your integrity it's possible that momentarily you can lose a few things privileges opportunities these are the five reasons i have examined from scripture and from experience why people lose let me do a one minute recap lack of discernment carelessness ignorance of the laws of the kingdom abuse and misuse then tests and trials but i have good news for you that in the name of jesus it does not matter by which means by the power that raised christ from the dead there must be restoration in your life in the name of jesus christ